Repair Clinic makes fixing things easy. With millions of replacement parts available on our website and the help you need to do the repair yourself. Since we encourage you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the control cable and harness in your string trimmer, make sure the engine has cooled. Next, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. Use a T25 Torx bit to unthread the five screws holding the two halves of the throttle housing together. You can leave the clamp screw intact. Use a small flathead screwdriver to help separate the two halves of the housing. Lift the trigger off of the mounting post. Note the orientation of the on-off switch, then use the screwdriver to depress the retaining tabs to release it. Disconnect the wires from the switch. Detach the throttle cable from the trigger. Next, loosen the knob to release the air filter cover. Remove the filter and use an 8mm socket or nut driver to unthread the air filter housing mounting nuts. Lift up the choke lever and remove the housing. Detach the throttle cable from the carburetor. Remove the carburetor from the mounting posts and lift off the cable mount. Disconnect the wire connector and you can pull the old control cable and harness free. Prepare the new control cable and harness for installation by disconnecting the on-off switch. Now feed the wires and cable under the fuel tank. Connect the wire connector. Align the carburetor on the mounting posts, position the cable mount, and push the carburetor into place. Attach the new throttle cable to the carburetor. Keep tension on the cable to prevent it from detaching from the carburetor. With the choke lever up, realign the air filter housing and secure it with the nuts. Open the choke and replace the air filter. Reposition the air filter cover and tighten the knob to secure. Attach the throttle cable to the trigger. Next, reconnect the wires to the new on-off switch. Align the switch in the throttle housing and snap it into place. Confirm that the short end of the trigger spring is inserted through the hole in the trigger with the hook facing the left side. Realign the trigger on the mounting post. 
and place the long end of the spring above the tension pin. Secure the switch wires and throttle cable in the housing slots. Align the right side of the housing and snap the two halves of the housing together. Rethread and tighten the screws to secure. With the repair completed, reattach the wire in boot to the spark plug and your string trimmer should be ready for use. At Repair Clinic, we make fixing things easy. Thank you for supporting the production of these videos by purchasing your parts from our website.